showing you how to make acai bowls. If you don't know, acai bowls are basically like a smoothie bowl that's made with usually either acai powder or acai smoothie packets and it's just a condensed version of acai berries which are from Brazil and it just gives it like a really nice flavor and a super super dark purple amazing color and then you just top it with granola and more fruit and I'll show you that after. In this video I'll be showing you how to make the actual acai smoothie part and then also the granola that I'll be putting on top. So the first thing we're going to do is make the granola. So you can use anything you want in this granola. I'm just using what I have in my cupboard which is not a lot but I just have some oats, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and some, oh, I thought these were pumpkin seeds. Okay, so yeah, sunflower seeds. Okay, so the first thing I'm putting in is the oats. And then I'm putting in these hemp seeds. Chia seeds. And these um, raw sunflower seeds and you just toss it like this cinnamon I like a lot of cinnamon so I put a lot so I'm not using oil for this but if you do want to use oil you can just add it at any point and probably skip the water but instead of oil I'm using water Whew, the cinnamon is choking me. Instead of oil, I'm using water. So just try, you know, a tiny bit at first. You just want to get it so that it kind of clumps up and gets coated. You just want it to feel damp. And then you want to take your maple syrup or your brown rice syrup or your um, coconut nectar or whatever you want and put in a few tablespoons and stir that up as well. And that will kind of make it clump together too. So yeah, this is what it will look like. And then we just want to preheat the oven to, um, I'm gonna say 375. And then we need to get just a pan with some parchment paper on it. I'm just going to use this little square, like cake slash brownie pan like that. And then, So yeah, you can see I really didn't make a lot. This is just an eight by eight pan, but I didn't want to have a ton of granola sitting around. Once the oven is preheated, we're just gonna put it in for like seven minutes and then stir it around and put it back in and we'll just keep doing that until it's done. So these are the acai packets that I'm using. So it's just the brand Zam Zambazon. I don't believe that in order to be vegan and be healthy, you need like all those super foods and like all of that shit. Like, no, definitely not. But honestly, acai bowls taste amazing and they're so fun to make. So these are super, super concentrated. Um, and you don't need a ton of it, but if I was making like a couple bowls for to share with people or whatever, then I would probably use the full packet, but because I'm just making one, then you don't really need to. I've also heard of people eating these like popsicles. So yeah, and then I'm just folding it back up and I'm gonna put it back in the bag and then zip the bag shut so that it doesn't get freezer burn and that's it. When I just cut it, I just, um, put it into this bowl just to let it defrost a bit because they're pretty hard. So my granola is done. I almost burned it, but I caught it just in time. Well, it got a little bit burnt around the edges, but that's okay. So as you can see, it's just, it's pretty crumbly granola. It's not like huge clumps, but if you want it to be huge clumps, then just don't break it up as much as I did. But in total, probably needed about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to make the actual smoothie part of the acai bowl. I'm going to use half of a fresh banana, 
frozen banana because I want it to be really thick and creamy and not like a watery smoothie at all. So do some fresh, but mostly frozen. Then I'm going to add some pineapple. And I'm using pretty much all frozen fruit because I live in Canada and we don't have fresh fruit. Some strawberries. Okay. And lastly, some blueberries. And these will also help add to the dark purple color. Oops. It kind of melted while I was waiting for my granola, but I'm just gonna put in the acai. And I'm using a food processor instead of a blender just because my Vitamix has been sent away to get fixed. As far as liquid goes, I don't actually think I need too much, so I'm just gonna use some of this um, Vita Coco coconut water. And I just had about half a container left of that. I just realized my camera wasn't recording when I was putting everything into the bowl because I'm just stupid, clearly. So I just <laughs> spooned out all of the acai smoothie into my bowl, and then I decorated it with bananas and a kind of fancy cut strawberry and granola and toasted coconut flakes. And this is the final product. I guess you guys probably didn't need to see me decorate it, so it's not a huge deal. You can decorate it however you want. Don't forget to thumbs up um, or leave a comment or subscribe if you like these kind of videos because I make tons of cooking videos and I love hearing your feedback or seeing your feedback or whatever. So yeah, just let me know if you like these kind of videos and I will keep making more. Mm. It's so good. The pineapple makes it taste amazing. Okay. I definitely hope you guys can get your hands on some acai so that you can make a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna go finish this now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm.